Nice hard flick there. Bring it up close to that wall. Dragging our wing. What's up everybody and welcome here back to Torque Drift on the mobile platform. Today it's all about that GT86 and that new body kit from the new update. We did get a new motor in our GT86. We are now rocking that rotary turbo in here. 908 horsepower. We got some other uh, pro parts on the way to make this car almost completely pro. We do have our uh, pro suspension, pro intake, and pro brakes on the way. So, ooh, we have a custom angle kit, but we're not gonna buy that today. So, like I said, it's all about that GT86, just a simple white red roll cage because we can paint the roll cages and stuff. I chose red because, well, I have red underbodies. So, let's go in and just get sideways with the GT86 because the new body kit looks amazing with the giant wing. So we're gonna hit the track. Looks like we got Car Park, which is a new uh, track here in Torque Drift, but it is also, if you remember that Rad Dan Chase, we were running in the Car Park. So we're gonna run that here for today for the first run here in the GT86. We're at, like I said, 908 horsepower. We're running pro tires in the front and import tires in the rear. Do love the aggressive look of it. Looks like we're going against Sam N and an E46. So let's see what we can do with this. We're gonna kick this into fourth. I don't really remember this track, so it's gonna be uh, kind of a trying to remember. Gonna kick it in a bit early. Oh, almost hitting that trailer. Hard handbrake, flip it around, come in here nice and tight. Just trying to be as flowy as we can. Out to the wall, don't smack it. Quick transition, we did miss that clip. Unfortunately, I believe we're going to shoot back out. There we go. We'll shoot back out into the wall, but we didn't. Oh, man. Really? So apparently we weren't fast enough. And we got disqualified. Well, that's unfortunate. We both did. So a uh, little rematch. Maybe we can both do it again because unfortunately, uh, we both ran out of time. I don't think it's gonna, I don't think he's gonna want to rematch. We're gonna try to find somebody else. Car park, definitely a fun track. I feel like a uh, car's a little bit slow if I'm trying to get all these points. So I need to be, make sure I come off that last turn hard on handbrake or brakes. Make sure I don't. And it looks like a TBR. Looks like I got a nice green uh, roll cage in that S14. The painting of the roll cages, which makes the bash bars a different color. Definitely a cool feature in this update. And gonna be painting some cars up like that. Flick it nice and hard in. Kind of get that jump. There we go. That was a little bit better than last time. We got all the way out to there. I pop that curb a little bit. Still trying to be flowy, but also be somewhat fast. Oh, apparently the car lost drift. Unfortunately, that's going to be bad because I know that guy's going to be so much faster than us. Hard on the break there we go there we were able to finish that not a good run at all we were way better on our last run but we finished the track i kind of lost drift there and yep he definitely got a way better run than we did but unfortunately i uh gripped up and lost drift the paint does look cool with the green cage and everything my s14 is rocking uh no front bumper and everything like that oh oh we can take those out and we just rode it into the trailer so the car park track definitely not an easy track you need to make sure you're pretty much on power we're gonna cut this on power all the time it's not an easy track to run definitely cool to see new variations of tracks coming out to the game so that we have other courses to run but unfortunately the car park is not my best course i feel like a noob and i feel like i suck i know i'm gonna get blasted in the comments about this but hey new track still unsure Car's still not dialed yet. So, next track we're gonna probably run is probably another track if we can. Yeah, I took the loss on that one. So the car park, not my cup of tea. Definitely wanna get some better tandem. So I think we're gonna back up. 
see what other tracks we can run for the GTA 6. Yard jump. Yep. Do like a jump. Doing jump drifts. So we're going to run the jump drifts here. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. If you don't subscribe, please tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate all the support. Looks like we're going against Al Connadale's car. I feel like we should be comfortable in this GTA 6 here. That rotary turbo. Definitely a very solid power plant and probably one of my favorite power plants to run in my cars. Good initiation. Handled that jump good. I'm gonna flick this back. Really close to that wall. A lot closer than I wanted to be. Fourth gear seems to be where I need to be. Nice hard flick there. Bring it up close to that wall. Dragging our wing against the wall and finishing with a very solid 100k run here on the jump to 11 i feel like he crashed yeah i feel like he's not gonna want to go again and he's gonna say goodbye we had a very solid lead dragging our wing on the wall so we're gonna try and do that again gt86 coming along very nicely gonna want some more power on it but like i said we have other power adders coming this car is going to get increased we do have our s14 which is kind of becoming our missile car but like I said, the painting of roll cages is definitely an awesome feature in the game. And it's an amazing thing to see. And it looks like we're going against an amateur because nobody was here to run. So we're just going to try and get a baller lead run as much as we can. Because that amateur is a bot. So we're just going to hard flick this in. A little bit wider than I wanted to. And our last run was way better. So let's see if we can't just run close to the wall to redeem this run. I say close to the wall, not into the wall. I say I want to get closer and I always hit the wall. I should never say that. And we're scraping the wall. Every time I say I want to get closer, I end up smacking the wall. So unfortunately not the best run, but it'll be enough to beat the bot. Bot only has like almost 40. So we'll be able to beat him and then we will go try another track because I don't think anybody else is going to be coming on this track for some reason. It seems when I get a bot it's because either nobody's playing on the track currently at that present time or my level there's not that many people of my level playing currently at that track for whatever car I'm running. It seems to be when I run newer cars I tend to run against a lot of bots. So unfortunately a little bot tandem right now very slow bot. Move it. Go faster. Just a tap. Just a little bump. Nothing major. So we can see what other tracks we can run here with our GT86. Not sure what we can do. Didn't really remember what tracks there are. So if you guys want to keep seeing Torture, if you know what to do, make sure you comment down below. If you guys are enjoying the update, let me know what your favorite part of the update is. What do we got? We got the needle. We'll run the needle. We may try the uh, car park again, but with a different car. Because, well, GT86 doesn't handle very well. So the needle track going to be probably in third gear, I would say. Looks like we're going against Bang's Gang in his S15. Probably run, we'll probably start in fourth and we'll probably end up having to go down into third for this track. We definitely missed the first clip. So we're gonna stay in fourth, run it out. Try and run that white line. A little bit wide, I haven't run this track in a while, so apparently I've uh, lost my edge. But it is a new car, it is not my E46, or my 14 or 15 that I'm mostly comfortable in. And looks like he just dis disconnected, so he must have wrecked and not wanted to run. So we'll get a chance to rerun somebody else here. So I'm very curious what your guys' favorite part of this update is. Is it the removable bumpers? And a lot of people love the bumper removal. A lot of people are saying, why can't we remove the hoods? Well. I feel that another amateur I feel that removing the hoods would be a little bit of a complicated idea because with all the engine swaps everybody's doing I you could probably have the hood removed but it would have the stock motor in it not the motor that you swapped into it or stuff like that because I know other some other games have that feature but 
you know, it's very complicated probably to code that in with all the motor swaps and stuff that everybody does in these games and all the weird motors that are put in these cars. It, it would probably be a lot harder than you would think. So we got the removable bumpers, we got some damage stuff. So we are on the right track. And Torque Drift always bringing out banger updates. And the new body kit in GT86, definitely a solid car. Wow, yep, that amateur did not get anything. So that Supra, not as uh, not as good as it looks. Like I said, bots here on Torque Drift. That, you would think bots would be a little bit better than they actually are, but he uh, straightened up, unless it's not a bot. But I feel like every time I'm at amateur, the cars are pretty much stock and uh, they don't do too well, so I feel like they're bots. If they're not bots, correct me down in the comments because I feel like they are. Unless they're people who don't make game names, but I feel like everybody has to when they first started off. So, GT86, come along nice. Rotary Turbo, definitely solid power plant. Gonna wanna up the turbo a little bit more, get some more boost in this car once we can find a Pro Turbo. So I think we're gonna go back to the yard but we're going to bring out a different car. We're going to go to my old faithful car, my E46. And we're going to throw this thing around here in the car park and see if we can get a better run in the car park with our almost 1300 horsepower E46. And that is a pretty uh, BRZ. Rocking the new body, body kit, all stock tires. So let's see what we can throw down in the E46. I gotta update, oh my gosh, too much. I gotta update the livery in this E46 with the new FD door placards and everything like that. I tried to get a little bit too saucy on entry and well, I paid the price going into somebody's trailer. Not sure whose trailer that is, but unfortunately, sorry man, I've just totally wrecked out your trailer. And we went way off track. Car park, not my thing at all. Oh, he ran out too. <laughs> we both ran out of time. So hopefully we can both, we can try this again. This looks like this is a complicated track. Let me know what your guys' top score is on this car park if you haven't raced it yet. So we're gonna try initiating sooner. So that we're not that's why I say sooner and we just went later. Oh my goodness. I say sooner, we go later. Let's go, I don't know how to run this track. This is just, this is starting to look terrible right now. Yep, that, I don't know how to run this track, so. We're gonna take another disqualification here. This is not a good track for me. Did he actually get a run? No, we both timed out again. So obviously I'm not the only one struggling on this track. It's not just me that is struggling. So let's try a different car that I know should be able to handle the car park. A 180 SX, 1000 horsepower, going against another S14. This car should be able to handle this car park. I say that with not much confidence in my voice because, well, I've failed at this almost every time. That was much better. There we go. It's a little bit better. We're a little bit ahead of the curve. We've gotten the clips. We didn't wreck going into, into, the, into it first. That one I'm still not sure on. I probably should try and get that one on the straight shot. Hard on the handbrake. We got a full pull. We got a full pull here in the car park. It took us bringing our 180 and he timed out. So as you can see, I'm not the only one having problems with this car park. Of course. I felt like it was not this hard when we were chasing Red Dan but I don't believe there was other stuff we could hit. Wall tap on entry. That's a much better entry, there we go. 
This seems like a much solid run, much more solid of a run. Not the greatest on these clips, but we're gonna try and stay. Nope, that was not how you got that clip. But we're gonna get another full pull for the second time here on the arc. Barely, but we got a full pull. Whew, this track. Definitely difficult, and once again, he did not get a pull. So, it looks like if you can get a full pull here on the car park, you can win. This has to be one of the hardest tracks that I've had to drive in a very long time here on Torque Drift. Kudos to you devs. And it looks like we're going against a nice wide body Supra. I know a lot of you guys are saying I should do a Supra build. I feel like I should. I think the interior of the 180 got changed. I don't see a roll cage. Throw it in early, really long handbrake. Not the cleanest entry, but an entry nonetheless. Hopping over that curve. Just trying to uh, get that elusive full pull. Still can't figure out how to get that clip. But once again, we got another full pull. So that's three full pulls in a row. 180, throwing it down here at the car park. And survey says he timed out. So it is, if you can get a full pull, you might win here. Are you noticing a trend? I'm noticing a trend. Should we try for one more and see if this trend continues or we can actually get a chance to get a tandem in because it's like nobody's able to complete this car park course. Looks like we got Solo Gamer and another BRZ, or BRZ GT86, rocking the new body kit. All right, Let's see what we got. We got the guy's hand working in there with the handbrake. Click in hard entry, much harder of an entry than last time. Quite happy with that entry actually. There we go. Now if we could get all the clips, that would be like the primo run. See, nope, we didn't get that one. I was more talking about this one, which we finally got, so we figured that one out. You got to transition way earlier. Are we going to get another full pull? We got another full pull with way more clips and way more points. Up in the 50s. We're going up in the world here. And uh, survey says, solo gamer, he got, a, he got a run. We got a tandem. We finally got a tandem here at the car park. So let's see what we can do in the chase. Hopefully uh, we can uh, get up there with him. Initiate in, kind of follow him in there. There we go. All right, there we go. Oh, kind of shorten that up on him, but I feel like we're not doing too bad. I almost hit that pole. Gotta get some speed going so we can actually get tandem points. But we are actually throwing doors here in the car park section. And uh, I'm quite happy with that chase. Not the best chase in the world, but I'm quite happy with it. Was it enough to take the win? It was not. He got a better chase than I did. So we're gonna try that one more time to end this episode off. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. And if you aren't a subscriber, do tap that subscribe button if you like these videos. I would appreciate all the support. We'll tap on entry. Kind of a gangster entry. Kind of getting a little saucy now. Getting a little bit of confidence billowing with this car. You might notice how the cluster is on the uh, wrong side of this car. Was that just me? Oh, much better run. Much better on the clips. I think that's a better run than last time. Yep, 56 to 53. So now we did get a much better run than we did last time. So he got a full pull as well. So we're going to try and get this chase in. We know kind of what run he's going to make. So let's try and get on his door as much as possible. And not overshoot him. 
There we go. That's much better. This is how I wanted to end this episode off. Nice, solid tandems. Way better than the last one. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Way solid of a tandem. So, I think we're going to take the win on that one. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I still lost. <laughs> Damn. Good runs, dude. I'll see you guys on the track.